Hey guys, and welcome to the iOS 6 overview. And this is the final build, the GM Master version of iOS 6. I wanted to wait until there was a final version to go over all the aspects of iOS 6. Now I have an iPhone 4 on the left running iOS 5.1.1, and on the right I have an iPhone 4S running iOS 6.0, and this is the final version. So let's go over some of the visual changes that you will see. So when you go through the, you know, settings and everything else you'll see that the top bar now is blue instead of it being a flush color looks a little bit weird but it's you know it's kind of a cool visual change and here on the phone you can see the dialer is completely different i'm not too particular on this new dialer but it is different in ios 6. now let's go and take a look at some of the other visual changes here and if you just look at things like even the weather you can see that it's changed a little bit, it looks a little bit more refined, the text is a little bit thinner, and it just looks a little bit more elegant. So little things like that you will find throughout iOS 6 that are changed. Nothing huge, but a little bit subtle, and but you can tell that it's iOS 6 over iOS 5. And here's iTunes Store, and you can see that the stores now have been completely overhauled and you can see that now it looks more like the iPad. So if you have an iPad, you will know that this store layout is a little bit familiar. And let me show you the App Store. And the App Store also looks like that as well, where you don't have just a list anymore. You have a banner and you have different scrollable lists and things that go horizontal. And it's, it just it just looks a little bit cleaner. So I like it. I don't know about the functionality, if it really makes much of a difference. But you can see that the banners are now on the bottom there with Genius and Charts and everything. And it's 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 pretty cool. I like the retweak, but not sure if it's really going to make much of a difference in the app selection. So you can see here on the keyboard, now Voice Dictation is now live there. So you can use Voice, voice Dictation for searches and text and different things like that. So... That's a pretty good add-on. And in Safari and everywhere system-wide, you will see that the share list is now different. You can see that there's Twitter, Facebook, and everything like that. And if you look up top, you can see there's a reader now on Safari. So you can make reading a little bit easier on the browsing. And you can see now Facebook is integrated into the system. So you can just tap to post on the top, and you can just get your quick shortcut to Facebook, which is pretty nice what, since Twitter was the only integration we had in iOS 5. So your Facebook lovers will really like that. And in the camera, you will see that the banner now is black on the bottom. A little bit of different look, but if you go in, you have a little bit more options on this and you have the coveted pan panorama mode that Apple touted. Even though Android's had this forever, and there's always been other apps that'll do it, but this one is Apple made. So you can just go ahead and move the arrow while it's stitching. And what's cool is it stitches on the fly while you do it. It does not wait for the pictures to be taken. And here is a quick panorama that I've done of my house. And you can see how fast that is. And it's pretty good. The panorama mode works very well. And um can't wait to test it out in some better scenarios, but... Just quickly, I wanted to take that so I can show you an example. Now, you can see that there's new banners as well, so when you have new apps, it'll let you know that they're new, which is good because before, you never really could tell that they were new or something that you downloaded that was new, so those new banners are kind of cool. Now, the first thing you want to do in iOS 6 is download YouTube, and the iOS YouTube is now gone, and Google has now made their own YouTube application. But thank God for that, because now this is more like the Android version, where you have a lot more options, a lot more sharing options, and it just works and looks better. It's more like the mobile version, so it is actually better that we've gotten that version. So thank God for that, and I think people will enjoy that. Now, noticeably, the biggest thing is probably the new map system on iOS 6. It is built off of TomTom, and it is now no longer Google Maps. But you can see here that the 3D maps, you can see it's pretty good. It's pretty fluid. <clears throat> and here's a uh, map of New York City. But you can see that the server is still pretty slow. I'm not sure how many improvements they're really going to make to this, but this is nowhere near as fast as Google Maps 
on Android. And it looks pretty, it looks good, but you can see here there's a lot of checker marks and things haven't really got that much faster since the later builds. And it's, no matter what, it still works good for the normal user, but it's still kind of slow. But if you put it on the standard mode, which is your normal map mode that doesn't have the satellite view, it does work really well and it's pretty fluid as well. You can see here that you it is pretty much like Google Maps where you can use your two fingers and twist and you know you can change orientation and things like that and it works pretty well. And probably the biggest inclusion here also is free turn by turn navigation. Man has iOS needed this forever, but now it's got it. So it's got there you go. It's got Full turn-by-turn -turn directions now was spoken. I've tried this. I've tested it for about a week, and it is working very well. Uh, the POIs and everything else, I think they're pretty sufficient. They're still not as robust as Google Maps, but I think that eventually it'll get much better. But for the average user, I think they'll have no problem, and the addition of turn-by-turn -turn directions is something that iOS needed big time. And you can see some visual changes here with New York. And anytime that you look up something, it will have that nice banner there and that nice graphic. And you have all your options there. But see how New York, New York is kind of turning there and with the little graphic. It is pretty. That's the one thing I have to give it to Apple. They do make their interfaces look very nice. So that's the Maps application. I like it a lot but I'm not sure if it's as good as Google Maps. But here is Passbook, which is another big thing for Apple. And this is kind of where you can congregate all your like store cards and you know your flight information and your tickets and everything. And it's pretty cool. And you can see you would have multiple ones on the screen and you would go ahead and scan that instead of carrying a physical ticket. And when you're done with it, all you have to do is say delete and it gives you this awesome animation of shredding and it's gone. So you can see boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. But on the GM version, I can't get anything to work on there. So even Starbucks and things like that can get it to work. But here's another cool option called Do Not Disturb. And this is a thing that you can use for, you can use scheduled times for your phone maybe not to ring or do certain things where you might not be able to get phone calls from certain people while you're sleeping. But you can set it to where your favorites go through and other ones don't go through. And from a certain time to a certain time, you do not get disturbed by phone calls. So I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool option. Something to play with. Something I probably won't use, but I think it's a good thing to have. Now, on sounds, I've noticed that you really don't have any new system sounds, which I was looking kind of forward to. But if you look here, the ringtones and... Uh, text message sounds and stuff you don't get anything new which I was a little bit disappointed with because it's horrible hearing stuff you know in public and you hear the same ones all the time because so many people have iPhones but this is something new where you can create a, a custom vibration which is pretty cool where you know your vibrations can now move in your own custom way so here here I am making some kind of silly vibration as you can see but It'll play back in any vibration pattern that you want, and you just tap it, and you save it, and now you can set that for whatever you want. And you also have other preset ones like Heartbeat and different ones, so vibration is something that's new to iOS 6, which is needed, but I wish there was more system sounds, but it's a good feature anyway. Alright, and also Siri gets a few new tricks as well in iOS 6. It knows uh, sports scores, so you can ask them what sports scores there are, and it also finds restaurants, and also finds reviews, and it can also make a reservation for you, and it can also open apps now, like Spotify, or it can open maps, but it cannot do system stuff like turn on or turn off Wi-Fi. And it has direct link to Facebook, so you can say, hey Siri, you know, post this to Facebook, and it will do it, which is kind of cool. So in conclusion, I feel like iOS 6, everything runs a little snappier. The apps launch faster, the camera runs a little faster, and everything feels like it's on turbo drive, which is great. iOS was already fluid, and we all know that iOS has probably one of the best experiences in consistency. 
This is definitely an evolution, not a revolution that we were looking for. We really wanted a new home screen. We really wanted some new UI. We really wanted an overhaul. But for iOS lovers, I think these are great additions for what they were looking for. And hopefully in iOS 7, we'll see something a little bit more radical. But I'm going to leave you with a feature now that when you get a phone call, you can reply with a message. Remind you later, you have more options now. This is something that was already available on Android before, but it's a good addition to iOS 6. If you have any questions on iOS 6 and what it functions like, please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel today. Thank you.